So it starts with you. Run after your dreams. Pursue your goals. And run, run, running is free, man, you enjoy it. Hey, I'm Manny, the resident running channel physiotherapist. I'm here to show you around Kaptura, a place you may never have heard of, but one that has been put on the map because it has bred a long line of running champions, including Olympic and world champion and world record holder over five and 10,000 meters, Joshua Cheptekai, who I'm going to be catching up with later on. First though, let's head out on a run and see what it's like to run around this incredible location. I've traveled home to Uganda for a family wedding, but I also wanted to come here, close to Mount Elgon and the home of the CP waterfalls. It's 1,800 meters above sea level and a beautiful location. This area of the world has been difficult to get to up until the year 2000, and that has allowed us to experience the amazing talent of Ugandan athletes like Joshua Cheptegei. I was born in Uganda, but I've lived in London since I was four. So I find it exciting to see the rise of these Ugandan athletes. It's 10.30 in the morning and it's about 24 degrees. I'm on another hill and uh, there's not many runners out. So most of the runners head out at about 6.30 in the morning. So really early, but I thought, I thought I'd get some nice daylight for everybody to see what Kapturo looks like. So the other thing that you got to really contend with, which is different to London, is a different point. When you turn across, you've got the border borders, but also suddenly the terrain changes to this rock clay-like substance. And yeah, it's completely different. Nothing like we get in the UK. This stuff is always challenging your ankles it's really uneven and then you also get all the goats everywhere it's safe to say that if you run around here every day you're going to be pretty fit so imagine growing up running around here well for this group of children this is their training ground i was lucky enough to go and join them on a run i'm nearly dying these guys are quick they're called Run Cup Choro. It started in 2016 and has been set up by two coaches, David and Jackson, who coach over 100 children to be the best they can be. These children go out on cross country regional championships and the aim is to try and get to a point where they are the next Joshua Chepter guy, they are the next world champions, Olympic and world record holders. These kids wake up at 6.30 and they go out. They did a progressive run with me they took me out nice and easy and on the way back, well, yeah, it was a joke. They just beat me. I got back for the strength and conditioning and showed the kids a few things I know, which was fun. Running in this beautiful location has bred a very special kind of runner. And one of the most famous examples of this is Olympic champion and world record holder, Joshua Cheptegei. This guy is an absolute legend and someone who I am honored to meet. To be able to sit down with one of my running heroes in my home country is something that I will treasure forever. So let's go meet Joshua Cheptegei and get some tips. Okay, I am really excited and we are taking a seat with a great gentleman next to me. First of all, thank you for joining me. First question is, who are you for all our viewers at home? Well, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is uh, Joshua Cheptegei, the Olympic champion. The world champion, the world cross country champion, and then the double commonwealth games champion, the world record holder from Uganda here at Kapiolo. There you go. We have this man in our presence. So I thought I'd ask him a few questions. First question is I like to call you JC, is that okay? Perfect. So I like to abbreviate, you know, like we're on first name basis and we're friends. So JC, how did you get to where you are now? Well, uh, getting to where I am now, it's been really a great uh, effort and of course a lot of uh, steps that I undertook uh, when I was still a young boy, uh, leaving high school, leaving the university and trying to pursue the current, the, the, the talent that I had. And now here, uh, I've, I've actually overcome a lot of obstacles uh, you, could, you could see from the World Cross Country Champion in, in, in Kampala, 
where I was supposed to win the gold medal, but but then I never won the gold. So Jesse is a kind of person that has come a lot of way with uh, with actually a lot of ups and downs. Ups and downs. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch the World Cross Country Championships. Which year was that? 2017. 2017. And JC had a race that was difficult. We all have races that are difficult, but he overcame it. And he is sitting here today, the man he is. So I guess the next question is, you know, we're here in Cup Choro. Like what's special about this area? What's special about this place? Well, um, Cup Choro is uh, actually like a high altitude training center, a high altitude training place in, Cap in Uganda here, where you could come and explore a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, things, especially if you want to be a professional athlete or especially if you want to be somebody who is working out for your health. So Capture is a place to be. It's uh, very cool in terms of um, it's just a certain environment where you could really become peaceful and you know with sports you need a peaceful mind. So yep. absolutely that's that's what I can say about Capture. Yeah it's incredible. It's so picturesque as you've probably seen from the footage and um, it's really hilly yeah? Hills yeah, everywhere. yeah, it's, it's, it's really very hilly, and uh, I like them because it's uh, I like uh, challenges in life. So even uh, we human beings, we need challenges so that we can be always uh, we can develop properly. There you go. Challenges are important. You've got some dreams. You've got some passions. Tell us about your dreams. What do you want to achieve in the future, JC? I want to become the greatest among us, the greatest athletes of all time. So that's a dream that I, I'm, I'm really walking, I'm almost walking to it. And every day I wake up, every day that uh, the, the, the sun sets, uh, it gives me an, another opportunity to, towards my, my vision. Incredible. Love that. Greatest athlete of all time. So to do that, are there things that you can tell our viewers that they can maybe do? Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there who probably just want to be their best runner, their best selves, right? So are there tips that you could tell our viewers that they could do? Yeah, dear view viewers, I would like to tell you that everything is possible as long as you put your mind into it. And uh, to me, I believe that uh, there are no obstacles. The only limitation is we ourselves, we our minds. You, your mind will, will actually, you will become what your mind will tell you. So if you want to be the best, whatever you want to be yeah. in running whatever you're, you're doing you're pursuing you got to have mindset. the right mindset mm. the right mindset and then you got to have the discipline the right people you're working with right friends right coach and so many things add up into something good add up yeah and running wise are there any tips and tricks that you do yourself i know you said hills you feel hills make you stronger or is there anything mm, for me for running me it's the right mindset to 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 finish my training sessions i need to be on the right with the right mindset i need i need to, to, to tell my mind that i can do this i need to visualize you know oh visualization there you go yeah, yeah. yeah. because nice. if, you, if you don't visual, visualize yourself winning a race it won't happen yeah. right so what's in your diet do you eat posho yeah i eat a uh, posho it's called ugali hey ugali. so i'm ugandan yeah. jc's ugandan yeah. and our thing is posho which is ugali in kenya but here in uganda we call it posho, posho yeah. and what do you have with your posho uh i normally do with uh, greens and sometimes with milk there you go yeah posho with milk there yeah. you go yeah so if you're at home and you're gonna have something uh, a tip here from jc is some posho some ugali with some milk i'm gonna try that one i haven't had that one please just hey and yeah. and and training wise are there any training sessions that you really enjoy that make you feel like you become a better runner oh uh, well uh, i do a couple of um tempo runs yeah nice so, uh, and you do them here on the hills the no, tempo no, runs I do them sometimes in the, in the plateau it's in the plateau like okay from here it's like a 45 minute ride okay yeah. and then in the hills do you do like any particular hill sessions because yeah, i know you also, do we also do a lot of hill work yeah okay up 1k down wow 1k up 1k down yeah. so any of you viewers want to try a jc workout there you go one kilometer running uphill at 1800 meters altitude and then one kilometer <laughs> back downhill it's i've actually, been it's actually two five above sea level where we wow up, yeah. wow yeah. two thousand five hundred meters above sea level yeah 
and do you look after your body in a specific way you know having a specific strength session or do you do any other things that we may not know about or we may not have heard about uh for me normally i don't do any strength uh, you know sessions especially in the gym mm -hmm. what i only do i do only hill work and then uh maybe core stability exercise okay he'll work to get his legs nice and strong yeah. and what sorry the core stability core stability and yeah. core stability yeah joshua thank you so much and last question really it's i guess it's like what do you envisage for everybody and what do you hope for for everybody watching at home um the running world i know is you know we're, we're all probably have been affected by covid are there any last words you want to say to anybody watching at home well i want to just give everybody every viewer watching back in london and any part of the world this small encouragement that uh, i understand that the the world is now crippled but uh there's hope that even uh, in, in, a, in the midst of the pandemic we can still find hope and we, the only way we can find hope and peace is to get together into running and running and maintaining the sops and for sure we will come back strongly and live in a better world that we hope to, to, to live. So it starts with you, run after your dreams, pursue your goals, and run, r running is free, man, you enjoy it. Thank you so much, JC. So remember Kupchora, a location that has enabled athletes like Cheptegei to become their best. The altitude and terrain here is brutal, but it is used by many runners as a training ground to become fitter and improve performance. Do you think location can help your performance? Let me know in the comments and also where would you want to run if you could run anywhere in the world?